have osteoarthritis right. of your hip, uh -huh. and you're extremely young, right. yeah. which is a problem. Right. Yeah. So um, you've had pain for how long? Well, I've had pain for two years. Two years. Yeah, dealing, dealing with it. Yeah, dealing with uh, with uh, well, pain in both hips, but more over the last year specifically in the left hip, really bad. The left hip is the most painful. It is the most painful. Yeah. 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 And what did you first think when you were, when you first started getting it? You just stretch it out or something. Yeah, I just thought like you know I'm a knucklehead like most guys and think uh, we're all knuckle. Know, actually, <laughs> most men are knuckleheads. <laughs> I just thought uh, you know the, the, it'll pass is yeah. what it was. But because um, I've had you know because I had a knee injury from running and you know yeah. so I've had some different injuries from you know lifting weights and running and cycling and yeah. other things. And I just thought it was just one of those things that was going to pass. Actually, don't say um, you got injured cycling though. Oh, okay. Because my wife is a, doesn't want to know that. that that's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, we, we never get injured cycling. You get injured doing other things, but cycling is totally safe. Totally safe. There's never a chance. Yeah. So anyway, but you, but so he, you lift weights, you ride bikes, you run, run. and the main I, thing was the running. The main right? thing was the running. I attributed it to the running uh, and just thought that it was inflammation or something would pass yeah. eventually. Yeah. And just it did not. In fact, it got progressively worse, and it would move around the hip. Yes, you know, it does. from the groin to the, you know, what I thought was a hip flexor, and then all of a sudden I find it, you know, my upper glute, and I'm going, what is this that's that's doing this? So, yeah. And in my mind, I thought it potentially could be arthritis, you know, but yeah. I didn't know know enough about it. I haven't enough research on it, and of course, yeah. you know, you sent me for X-rays, and that's what you determined. And the X-rays showed arthritis. Yeah. So the telltale sign was when you run. There's two and a half times your body weight that's impacted into your knees, your hip, and your spine. Right. So when you took when you took that hip and ran, bam, it does this. Mm -hmm. When you ride a bike, the hip is basically floating, mm -hmm. and it's just rotating like that. So like I said, when when we try to get rotation of your hip, right, we're trying to get rotation. The more rotation, the better. But when you're cycling, there's no compression of the hip. Yeah. So let's say you weigh. Let's say you weigh a, 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 a muscular 150 pounds. When you are running, running is a one-legged sport when you think about yeah, it, because you're yeah. never on both legs at, at the same, same time. time. So on one leg, bam, it hits you. You're doing two and a half times. That's 300, 350, 450 pounds of force that's impacting into your hip. Right. And that's why bigger people have a harder time running. Right. Because if you weigh 250, Try running. The that. That's why they have a whole classification of different types of runners called Clydesdales. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Yeah, 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 yeah no, they have a different system for them. I'm not in that category. Yeah, really not, die, but not <laughs> yet. Anyway, not for, not for me. I got to eat more to, to get that. But anyway, the thing is, is that so cycling right now you could do. Yeah. Okay, lifting weights you can do because as long as you're not doing a heavy compression, even let me ask you this: even um, if you do squats, what happens? Um, I, I feel it in the groin. I, I do feel it in the groin, and I think yeah. that's because of the inflammation. I, I, right now, I, inflammation. I, I think the inflammation is, is uh, and, and I've, I've long quit heavy squatting. So, but I still feel like a need to. What happens? What kind of leg exercise do you do now? Uh, well, I'm 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 doing squats, but I'll, it's not back squats. I'll do uh, front squats or, or goblet squats. Actually, or, or goblet squats. The reason why again the form is because your form changes, yeah. so you're more upright, so your hip angle doesn't pinch right. that much. And then also, you're not going to put as much weight on a goblet squat as putting all this mass compressing your spine. Right. So, yeah, because uh, if you do a back squat, your your back angle changes more forward, and there's more pinching of the hip. Right. So you'd have to either widen your stance, or open up your stance and put your feet farther apart and angled out to try to manage this. So in the future, just so you know, your quads don't care whether it's a goblet squat, back squat, front squat. I mean, there's slight changes, so you have to work around this injury. Right. So you don't just stop working out. Yeah. And so. that's what, yeah. So I've had to just just those type of adjustments. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, you know when I injured my knee a couple of years back, then I started doing the band work. You know, trying yes. to you know a lot of the band work, which uh, I've kept that because um, you know you, it's because of those you know those uh, stabilizing muscles. Yes. And, you know those smaller around your hips and glutes mm -hmm. and whatnot. Yeah. So it's what I understand. So let me show the difference of hip motion. Okay. So when you first came in, we got to almost 90 degrees. About right there would be 90 degrees. And your hip was kind of locked a little bit this way. Mm -hmm. 
and you wouldn't even let me. Mm -hmm. It was in, it was in a lot. Of pain. It was in a lot of pain, and it was it, well, it was impossible to move it. So, so now let's take it to ninety degrees, and then let's see, we can actually start to rotate it now. That's yeah. a good ten degrees. Yeah, you couldn't do so that before. Couldn't do that before. Three weeks ago. So even though the other one still has arthritis, let's show that one. So this one here. It, it, you just see, I just went past 90 degrees, but it, it goes easy. And then this one goes out here. So now normal, a normal non-arthritic hip mm -hmm. is 45 degrees. Oh, wow. So right there. So okay. you've, you've lost some degrees of motion, mobility. of mobility. And as time goes on, we want to get this inflammation down and get you feeling better. But once we do that, we may start stretching that side too and working on that side. Okay. So let's work on the muscle first around there. So, oh, what were you going to say before? You're feeling better, right? Oh, yeah, I was going to say uh, um, that uh, that I, there was no, there was no improvement at all with, with the way I was going there yeah. after coming to you. Um, I have finally started to see some improvement. I've How many times have we seen you? Uh, I think three, third three. time. Yeah, third time. Yeah, yeah. all, all right. right. And it's just, it's just, that's <laughs> just that quick. I mean, just wait. <laughs> good. I, I'm just wait. Uh, I'm no, sold. I'm, yeah. yeah. Well, I'm sold too. But uh, but just wait. If we got a little bit of improvement mm -hmm. in three treatments, what's going to happen in six? What's going to happen in nine? It's, it, it just it just improves. But also, just so you know, you may have ups and downs. I, yeah, no, I that, get that'll it. happen. I get so don't freak out if you know yeah, tomorrow it's just exactly. not a good day. So all right, so let's do this. I will say after my after my jet. After I came in last Friday, yeah. I, I golfed on Sunday. I had the best, my best run of golf in a long, long time. Don't tell people that either. Because <laughs> then everybody will want to come in here. And improve hey, to, Maybe yeah. we'll get Tiger to come in here. I'll charge him a little more. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he's got more money. Though. He's got more money. Actually, that's good. Yeah. You played good. Yeah. Now, I just thought I had more range. My actually, didn't hurt. Anymore. Okay, so I'm going to give you a pop quiz. Okay. You don't, don't, you know, don't, get, uh, don't get nervous. Why do you think your golf game was better? Why do you think you had more range? Well, because of the treatments. Right, right. I mean, the treatment gave you more range, yeah. so when you swing yeah. like that, you, you were able to I would, do I, the follow-through of the swing I was better. Able to have a better backswing and a better, and a follow, yeah. and a better follow through without pain. Yeah. Because when you have pain, you change your biomechanics. And when you have pain, you change your biomechanics, and it's just not fun. Right. It's not fun. Yeah, so it's... Uh, it could so that's have been a coincidence, but I but I felt even well, afterwards I felt that, that you I know felt good. what do they say about coincidence in sports? <laughs> it's uh, what do they say about coincidence in sports? I don't know. I've never <laughs> had a coincidence in sports. <laughs> it's basically preparation <laughs> meets opportunity or some yeah or something. We'll call like it that. that. That sounds good. yeah. We'll put that on a shirt. I'll put it on a shirt. <laughs> It's, uh, so all these muscles around your hip also will restrict range of motion, so they don't like me doing this, but we need to soften them up. So I'm going to do this, and then I'm going to adjust the hip, and then we're going to use the laser, and then we'll see what type of range of motion we get afterwards. You should call that the tenderizer. The tenderizer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because yeah, right he said that, soften up. We have, we'll call we it the tenderizer. Uh -huh. That we use that she has in the kitchen, and it's got a flat part, and then you turn it over, and it's got these spikes. What is that? Well, that does sound like That is the tenderizer, that but I don't really tenderizer. make any meat that needs that. No. No. But if I pull a knife out that I'm not supposed to use or a si the wrong scissors mm -hmm. to cut something I'm like no that's the that's the wrong scissors <laughs> she uses that to make sure and train me <laughs> all right so here we go I'm going to press down so now I'm going to do a little more I'm going to rotate it inside two more So let it kind of settle there. And now I'm going to give a little traction to it. That hurt a 
lot? I felt a little, felt uh, a where little, I always do right there. Yeah, you yeah. felt a little give. There we go. Okay. So before I do the laser, let's just see what it feels like there. Did it hurt? No. So just because we're on camera, don't say no. No, I mean, no. So can I push it a little harder? Yeah, go ahead. Does it hurt yet? Uh, uh, very slight, but very I'm slight. Okay. That I can so let's not push it too far. We're yeah. gonna I'm gonna do the laser, but yeah. that improved it. I don't know if that's if you can see that on camera, but that's pretty good. Okay. All right. 